Welcome back to another Python tutorial. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the input function and this is a way that we can receive information from the user and then we'll be looking at a few different ways that we can use this information. Okay so in prior videos we learned about the print function and variables. So the input function is obviously another type of function and this one receives information. So the way we use an input function is we're going to store whatever input we get inside of a variable so we're going to call our variable message and remember this is just a variable name so you can put whatever you want to and this variable is going to be equal to our input function so we're going to say input and for now we're just going to leave the parentheses empty so let's go ahead and run our code and take a look and see what happens so when we run our code we can see down here at the bottom that it's waiting for something to be typed on the screen so if I type something like Mike and press enter then it finally ends the code and while it looks like nothing happened if I check to see what value is stored under message I can see that it contains the string Mike so what happened is when I ran the program it ran this function input which waits for information from the user once it received that information it stored it under the variable called message when I checked to see what value is under message I saw that it stored the information that I gave it okay so let's go ahead and take a look and see how we can make this a little bit more interesting so inside the parentheses here you can put a prompt or a message for the user so we can say something like enter your name so when I run the code I have this prompt for the user which lets it know what type of information I want so I can still type Mike and it works just the same so now let's go ahead and do something with that information that we received so what we're gonna do is down here we're gonna use a print function and we're gonna say hello and then what I want to do is combine this greeting of hello with the name that the user gives me so we can do this by using the plus sign and the variable name like we did in the last video another way that's a little bit easier on the formatting if we use a comma and then that variable message this works just the same as using the addition sign but I don't have to worry about adding that extra space in there okay let's go ahead and run this code and see what happens so enter your name okay I'm gonna enter Mike and then down below it says hello and then the value that was stored with in message was Mike so it says hello Mike one thing I'm gonna do to make this a little bit neater is in between the word name and the word Mike I don't have any space so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a colon and a space and now when I run the code it says enter name it has a nice colon and then it starts the input a little bit to the right but it works just the same and it results in hello Mike so you can also do multiple lines of input so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this one to name and let's do age as well and then for this one we'll say what is your age okay one thing we have to keep in mind though so these variables are storing two different data types the first one is storing a string the second one it will be storing an integer or a number so what we have to do for the second one is we have to convert whatever input is given to us into an integer so in the last video we saw how to do that for strings by doing str it's very similar for integers so we're going to say int and then enclose this whole thing in parentheses so what this is going to do it's going to ask for input what is your age whatever information that it's going to get will be defaulted into a string and then we're converting that string into an integer by using the int function okay so now down below let's go ahead and do uh, print hello and then we'll put name and then we'll do another comma and say you are comma and then age okay let's go and run our code and see what happens so in this case it's going to ask us for two different inputs the first one is going to be what enter your name the second one is what is your age and while we're here let's go ahead and fix the formatting on this one like we did above there we go let's go and run it and see what happens so the first thing is asking me what is your name so I'll put Mike next is asking me what is my age so I'll go ahead and put 67 and now when I press enter it says hello Mike you are 67 and we don't need that capital Y there so let's go and change it to a lowercase y and we'll just do it one more time so Mike 
93. And when I press enter, hello Mike, you are 93. So using the input function enables you to make interactive programs. And this is going to become very useful in the next video when we start looking at conditional statements. But for now though, we're going to end with this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.